Meedel külastas Eestit Hispaania välisminister Aranja Gonzales Laia. Küsisin tema käelt tema käest Mikkeli muuseumisse, miks see võiks katalaanid ise seisvuda, kui neil on olemas teritoorium, keel, tahe ise seisvuda ja inimesed, kes oleks nõus neid juhtima. Liiatigi me oleme ju kõik ühes Euroopa Liidus ja sellest ühisest paadist ei kaoks Kataloonia kusagile. Katalonia is one part of Spain. Spain is a democracy. A democracy ruled by a constitution that has been given by all the Spaniards for all the Spaniards, including uh, all Catalans. Uh, so at the end of the day, what matters is what Spaniards together will decide to do. Second, uh, because uh, when you speak of Catalonia, you pretend that all Catalans think in the same way, and all Catalans don't think in the same way. Only around 35, 37% of Catalans at least as expressed in the last uh, elections in Catalonia, would want to follow that rule. And if this was the norm, what would prevent other regions in Spain, who also have their own language, who also have their self-government, who also have their people? Kes ja kui palju peab ütlema jah, et Katalonia saaks ise seisvuda? The constitution speaks of majorities in Catalonia and majorities in Spain. The other than that, it's chaos. This is what we have learned in Europe, that if any, everyone decides on their own volition without respecting the others, that is chaos. And we know where chaos leads. We don't want chaos. We want people with freedoms. And the freedoms of some citizens are also the freedoms of other citizens. So when we speak of uh, deciding uh, in, in a direction or another, going independent or not, what matters is to respect your freedoms and the freedoms of the other citizens too. Kataloonia iseseisvuslaste juht Belgiasse põgenenud Carlos Puigdemont jäi hiljuti ilma saadiku puutumatusest Europarlamentis. See tähendab, et Hispaanial võib tekida reaalne võimaluste kohtu alla anda, vangi võib ta minna kuni kümneks aastaks. Kas teisiti mõtlemise eest trellide taga istuv Puigdemont ei näeks välja sama halb kui Navalnei Venemaal? Well, first of all, Carlos Puigdemont is not in prison. Carlos Puigdemont is a member of the European Parliament. Carlos Puigdemont lives in freedom. Carlos Puigdemont enjoys every right and every liberty that every other citizen uh, can enjoy. Now, Carlos Puigdemont is answerable to the Spanish justice. He has to stand trial. For the moment, he hasn't done this because he has, as member of the European Parliament that he is, he has invoked immunity not to stand trial. But even those who are in prison for breaking the Spanish law, and uh, I take offense that uh, you compare Spain to Russia. I take offense. Spain is a democracy. In a democracy, in Spain, like in Estonia, people who break the law are answerable in front of justice. Välisminister ei välista, et Hispaania võiks osta Venemalt vaktsiini Sputnik V, kui see on saanud heaks kiidu Euroopa ravimi ametilt. Vene propaganda teemat tasin esile ei too. We are at the, at the moment uh, when uh, humans have done something that is kind of miraculous, which is in less than one year they've invented vaccines to treat COVID. And I want to recognize every effort from every scientist, whether it's from China, from Russia, from Germany, from the US, from Italy, from Spain, every scientist merits and deserves um, our appreciation and a big thanks, because it's through their efforts that we will be able to be safe. Now, uh, having said that, um, we would rather look at vaccines as a tool to treat COVID and not as a geopolitical tool. And therefore, for us, our main consideration uh, for Sputnik, as well as for any other vaccine, is to make sure that it goes through approval procedures that guarantee it is safe for human use. Have you been vaccinated? Not yet. Not yet. In, not yet. In Spain, um, vaccines uh, are administered according to two criteria, age breaks and uh, levels of risks. Uh, with uh, elderly people first, uh, frontline health workers, um, our military, our security forces, they go first. 
we will go next. Uh, I'll go when it's my turn. Meie lõpmatu muresin Eestis on Venemaa ja tihti tundub, et Euroopa lääneosa ei saada selle mure sisust aru. Kas Hispaaniast vaadates ei tundu, et me reageerime Venemaast rääkides üle? I think we are all the product of our history, you know. And you are the product of your history and you've got the fears and the aspiration that are shaped by your history. So I can't comment on your history. I have to respect it. And what we can do, what Spain can do is help you in feeling safer and feeling more comfortable in your neighborhood. And this is why Spain, uh, as part of uh, NATO, is very present here on the eastern flank of NATO, uh, patrolling your skies, so we don't comment on uh, your own sense and your own feelings, but we do share the responsibility to ensure a safe neighborhood for you. Hispaania välisminister oli Tallinnas, kuna Eesti ja Hispaania diplomaatilised suhted on saanud saja aastaseks. Sellega seoses on Mikkeli muuseumis avatud suure jooneline näitus, Sulo Aga, Hispaania hing. It is beauty. It is absolute beauty. It's, uh, it's the colours, it's the gestures, it's the... Uh, um, you know, the raw beauty. This is what I see when I look at this painting. Spain is on the southern extreme of the European Union. Estonia is on the eastern extreme of the European Union. We both have in common that we live in the extremes of the European Union, but we both have in common also that we want to live in a stronger European Union. So we, it's upon us to work together to build a more resilient, stronger European Union that will help us in managing their, our respective neighbourhoods uh, and protect our people and help our people progress.